Hi guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Today we're doing the Winter Olympics World Cup. This is an idea that just literally popped into my head and I was like, well, while it's relevant, we'll do it. But before we kick this video off, I need to, to ask you guys a big favour. If you are subscribed or if you're just following the channel, please hit that little bell next to the um, subscribe button. It will alert you to every single one of my videos that I put out or anything that I put out on this channel. Um, the reason being is because yesterday YouTube updated. It basically cut off um, all the um, channels that are under a thousand subscribers, um, like all the monetization sort of stuff. And I really feel it's had an effect on my channel. So I need that extra boost, if you like. So I need people to just hit that bell so that they know that they're getting the notifications and stuff like that. Because you know what YouTube's like. It's not like great is it like in terms of like a, as a system but anyway um this is the winter olympics world cup um a lot of you probably are thinking well how did you do this well i looked at the medal table and um currently as of today there are 27 nations that have won medals um well 27 i say 27 there's actually 29 but i didn't realize that like Liechtenstein and latvia um those kind of nations have only won one medal each, so obviously they're going to be 27th each, respectively, if you know what I mean, in that position. So what I did to add up the numbers was I split the United Kingdom into England, Scotland and Wales, and then I put Jamaica in there because despite not win winning a medal, um, they made history yesterday by becoming, um, you know, the one of the first, well, the, the Bosley team... Uh, the women's bobsleigh team, I think, became one of the first to um, qualify for it or whatever. I don't know. I can't remember. But it was a historic thing anyway for a Caribbean island to um, be in the Winter Olympics. So, yeah, it's a bit of like cool runnings right there sort of thing. So, anyway, let's um, get right into this with um, Jamaica versus the Korea Republic. Let's see if Jamaica can win this game let's see and we got New Zealand after that so it's not too bad for Jamaica so this is basically just purely on medals it's not it's only this tournament it's not overall in like the world that would be pretty crazy to do but maybe I can do that for normal Olympics but anyway uh Korea Republic <laughs> beat Jamaica 4-0 that's not a good start is it let's see if they can do better against uh, New Zealand. I thought Jamaica had done a little bit better than that, but that's fine. You know, we'll go with it. Jamaica versus New Zealand. Let's see what happens. Let's see if uh, New Zealand beat Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica won two one, so that's not too bad. They they're back on track. Let's go to the groups and see which countries are the best from the Winter Olympics. So Group A, you've got France and Poland. Um, at the top there, Wales and Ukraine at the bottom. Wales have got a point now. Group B, United States and Japan and Slovakia all have points. Norway with zero, despite Norway actually picking up the most medals at the moment, at the moment in the Winter Olympics. Group C, Germany, Scotland and Netherlands all have points. I'm very surprised that Scotland have actually got any points in those, that group. Um, group D, Russia, Liechtenstein, and Canada and Kazakhstan are all in that group. Uh, Russia and Liechtenstein, um, well, again, another surprise, Liechtenstein being um, second in Group D. They've actually got a medal in um, the Winter Olympics, which is pretty impressive for a small nation. But I guess, you know, if, you're, if they're sandwiched in between uh, Switzerland and um, Austria, then they're going to be used to snow, I guess. Um, group E, Czech Republic and Austria... Uh, both have four points. Australia and Latvia just at the bottom there, both have a point. Group F, Korea Republic and England um, in second. Jamaica not far behind now on goal difference and New Zealand with nothing. Group G, Finland and Switzerland, both of the snowy nations there, trumping uh, Belarus and China. And uh, Group H, Italy and Spain uh, in the qualifying a qualifying position, sorry, for that one. Hungary and Sweden not too far behind them. So let's see if Jamaica can beat England. They probably won't, but I mean, <laughs> it's always nice to see if they can. Let's see if Jamaica can pull off a shocker. No, of course not. Um, usually England lose against sides like that, but I guess not. 
Um, let's see. Let's sim the rest of the tournament and see who is the Winter Olympic champion. Obviously, this is just a simulation. And Spain have won it. Obviously, Spain would win it because... Um, in terms of football, especially back in 2014, they were the the best team on this game. A lot of people pointed that out to me. So if Spain aren't in scenarios, then it doesn't matter. But Spain have won against Italy. So I guess Spain are the Winter Olympic champions, despite it being quite a hot country. Quite weird. But anyway, uh, top goal scorers, um, Alan Dezeoff, best player Dezeoff again. And Mayo Neuer, best goalkeeper, pretty standard stuff. Uh, let's just see how the groups panned out first. So France and Poland went through in Group A. United States and Slovakia went through in Group B. Uh, Germany and the Netherlands went through in Group C. Scotland getting knocked out there then. Uh, group D, surprisingly, Liechtenstein went through um, with Russia. Um, group E, Austria and Australia went through. Um, that's quite impressive for both of those nations. Uh, group F. Uh, Korea Republic, top of Group F, with England in second. Jamaica, not far behind in that one. Group G, um, Switzerland and China went through in the end. Um, China, not very good football nation, but no, they went through there. Um, group H, Italy and Spain, of course, went through because they went played each other in the final. Let's see how the tournament went on then. So, reading from left down, you've got England beating Austria 3-1. Uh, Spain just narrowly beating Switzerland on penalties 5-4. France smashing Slovakia 4-1 and Germany doing the same to Liechtenstein, although Liechtenstein did get a goal, so that's quite impressive. Um, then Spain beat England 2-1 and Germany beat France 2-1. Then Spain beat uh, Germany 3-1 and then Spain went on in the final to win 3-1 against Italy. And then Germany in the third place playoff beat Russia 2-0. So reading right down, you've got Australia beating, J um, not Japan, um, South Korea even, 2-1. Uh, Italy beat China 3-0. USA beat Poland 2-1. And uh, Russia beat the Netherlands 2-1, which is quite impressive. Um, then Russia beat USA 2-1. So quite a sort of an international rivalry game there. But Russia come out on top. Italy beat uh, Australia 2-1 in the quarterfinals. Then Italy beat Russia 2-1. And then they went on. Both of those nations went on to lose respectively in the final. And the third place playoff. So yeah, that's been the Winter Olympics one, I guess. It's just a nice little idea that I had in, in my head. Um, obviously the Winter Olympics and football don't really come into play. Um, I could have done it for hockey nations, I guess, but there isn't 32 on NHL. There's only a few anyway, so it wouldn't have worked. So yeah, if you enjoyed this scenario, uh, leave a like, Remember to hit that bell if you're already subscribed. I really, It would really help me out in future videos if you're getting alerted and stuff. Because sometimes I feel like most people aren't. And it's a little bit annoying when I put out different kind of content. And it doesn't get that many views, if you know what I mean. I know most people wouldn't be interested in some of the stuff I put out. But, like, you know, the World Cup stuff isn't all I do. But anyway, um, subscribe if you're new as well. And I will see you again for the next video.